Hi guys, my name is V. I'm one of the emergency medicine faculty. Um, we're going to have a series of videos to teach uh, first year medical students how to use ultrasound. So the first video is just going to be an introduction to the machines. It's going to be a very laid back video, so uh, just pay attention and bear with me for a little bit. So we have two machines in the PDX lab. We have one, this is called the S-Fast machine, and this is the M-Turbo machine. This machine has a lot of buttons. This one has fewer buttons. Um, but the main buttons that you'll need to know is just five buttons and I'll tell you about them in a little bit. So one thing is never touch the screen itself. These aren't touch screen, they're all buttons on the bottom right here or buttons here, so don't touch the screen. And also if you ever have any questions regarding any issues, always feel free to ask an instructor and they're all trained to use the ultrasound machine. Um, and the five things that I, guys, I want you guys to know, all right, we're going to start with the M Turbo machine first, and then we'll go over to the S Fast machine, right? So the very first thing, as in all appliances or anything else, is you have to know how to turn on the machine. So the the power button for the M Turbo is in the top right hand corner, right here, okay? And this turns it off. You push it, it turns it off and on, okay? And the next thing that you guys have to know how to use is the transducer. So these transducers, there's uh, two transducers that you'll need to learn how to use. One is the linear probe, and this is for superficial, superficial structures, anything about six centimeters or less you can use with this. This is for deeper structures, so for your cardiac exams or your abdominal exams, you're going to be using this type of probe here. In the beginning, we're going to be using this linear probe first because um, most of the things we're going to be looking at are vessels um, and nerves and things like that, so we're going to use a superficial uh, probe first, okay? And to select the probe, on the M Turbo machine, there's buttons down here, right? So when you push, the green light means that's the probe that's selected. And you can follow the, you can follow the line up to see where, it, where the probe is, okay? Uh, same thing with the, the uh, phase array probe. You just push this button and it'll switch over to this, this probe over here, okay? So for the most part, you're going to be using the linear probe in the beginning. And then as we get better and move along, we'll start using the other probe. So the next thing is going to be the gain. So gain is basically how bright you want your picture. So I put some jelly on, all right? And the purpose of having um, ultrasound gel on the probe is that it just basically takes away any air between the probe and the, and the skin, and it helps you see your images. So when you put gel onto an ultrasound probe, this is what you're going to see, all right? So the gain, which is over here on the right side, and you see a lot of buttons on this, okay? The bottom most one is for total gain. So as you see, when I'm turning down the gain, it turn becomes the whole picture becomes dark. And when I turn up the gain, the whole picture becomes bright. All right? The topmost uh, button right here, the knob, is going to be for the, what we call the near field gain. So it's just for, so for the top part of the, the screen, it's going to turn dark and bright based off of this knob right here. OK? Same with this button right here. This is called the far field gain, all right? And by turning this, you're going to get increase or decrease gain for the far part of the screen, all right? So that's how you use gain. The next thing, next thing that's really important to learn how to use is the depth. So the depth is right here, these two buttons right here. And when you increase the depth, you're going to see there's a number down here on the, on the bottom left hand of the screen. It says 4.0. That's how many centimeters deep that you're penetrating or how far you're looking into the screen. So when you increase your depth, which I'm doing here, you can see that this probe, the maximum it goes in up to is 6 centimeters. Okay? And then when I decrease my depth, you can see that it, this number goes down and the, the, the depth goes down also. All right? So what your goal is, whatever your structure of interest is, you want it in the middle of the screen and you're going to adjust your depth accordingly. Okay. And the very last thing that you have to learn on the ultrasound machine is the mode. So this is called a B-scan mode or a uh, grayscale mode. You see how it's all, just all black and white, which, which is what we're used to. There's also something called color mode, which is over here. When you push that, it'll actually detect color. And we'll see that when we're doing uh, more of the vital signs lab. But the main two you need to know are just the 2D, which is a grayscale mode, and the color mode. And, uh, and that's it. All right. Uh, so the other machine we have is called the S-Fast machine. So this machine is different from the M-Turbo in the fact that it has less buttons. The buttons are all surrounded around the uh, periphery of the monitor. Um, 
don't touch the screen because these are not, it's not like an iPad. You don't need to touch anything to, uh, to change the options. So the five buttons are the same that you need to know. One is the power button. It's on the top right hand of the, or top left hand of the SFAST machine. The other is going to be the transducers. Well, you can change it actually from the back. Uh, I wouldn't have you change it, have the instructors change it, unless you're really comfortable with uh, exchanging these transducers. The next knob you need to know is the gain button, which we talked about before. Um, and this gain button is all the way on the bottom left-hand corner. And by, by default, it's already on the total gain. All right? So if you turn it, it's going to increase or decrease the brightness of the whole picture. If you push it once, it'll change the brightness on the near field gain, and it'll actually say near on the bottom. And you push it one more time, it'll say far, and that's for the far field gain. And that's how you change the gain that way. The depth button is right next to it. It's this knob right here. And this will increase or decrease your depth uh, by turning this knob. And the last thing to choose the mode between color and 2D, you can push this button over here. All the way on the far right hand corner. All right, and that concludes our uh, presentation for the SVAS. All right.